My name is Alex. I'm here at Aichung Ching, and I'm here with some special guests. Uh, this is Yulia. She's here, and she's going to join the adventure. Hey, Mr. Ponte, great to have you here. Well, of course, we need an expert like you to be on the show today because you know a lot about big, big data, especially where you are located currently right now in Kenya, I believe, the last time. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to our host who's going to show us around this area and tell you a little bit about this area. Hello. Located in Yubei District, the construction of Shantou Data Valley began in 2040. The two square kilometer park focuses on automobile, intelligence, electronic information. Big data is a big thing, and I'm actually looking forward to find out more what kind of a uh, role it plays in Chongqing. China Software Park, we're going to call it that. It's an automotive intelligent industrial park and other high-tech enterprises in the service agency, I think 303 to be exact, gathered at about 10,000 innovative and entrepreneurial talents. Big data parks like this are extremely important on expanding. The ability for big data to acquire, process, and analyze information real time accurately and fast to be able to make immediate and effective action is really unparalleled and no other technology can match that. In 2014, Qtao International Big Data created a small but refined technology space with green coverage rate of about 60%. It has a high quality office condition, landmarks such as the building nicknamed the Slim Ways, and the giant ring and the waterfront landscape. They call it kind of like celebrity uh, locations here. Now, in addition, it has provided high-end apartments for people with high quality jobs. So imagine China as in this city, more than 30 million people in Chongqing. They needed jobs. They have, they have been hiring people after people. They needed so many jobs in the software engineering industry that they started collaborating with the big university in the areas. And for now, they are getting more people. They develop their own schools. This is incredible. This is China. This ha is how China innovates. This is how China spends money. It basically invests in projects like this. And you can see it has its own dam. It has its own, we're going to call it an e-park here. It's absolutely stunning beautiful and another thing extremely safe this is a qr code now you're probably just saying uh what big deal big deal about a qr code well yes it actually is a big deal look at these uh trays these trays all have barcodes on them including qr codes individual trays you can see all their numbers are different well this is a, a smart cafe and it is all digital it does it by weight. This plate serves about 3,000 a day. That's super interesting. So everything is automated. You put it on a yeah, stool. He grabs a spoon of this food. Not only does it say the weight of the food, but it tells her the protein, the carbs, the fat, and how many grams she's taking of this food and how much she's consuming. Oh, I never saw anything like that before. Like I never realized that like, uh, you just put a weight, a scale, and the weight. Now, have, have a look at this, guys. Look at how clean the floor is for 3,000 people that come here and eat on a daily basis. So this is really a one-stop destination for any company that is in that sector, which is actually growing so fast that, as I said, it's, it's, it's estimated to reach, what, 3 trillion RMB industry by 2025. And I'm going to give you guys a rundown how it works. Basically, company comes here, sets up the infrastructure setup. It also has the ability to have staff on hand, the worry about finding accommodations for workers, which we see throughout Silicon Valley, houses into the millions. That is not an issue here. Finding the infrastructure or the collaboration with other companies that is also not an issue here. I know that Silicon Valley is the most uh, icon of most uh, industrial park, just as we are. We start as Big Data Valley, but Big Data is a start. We focused on the uh, intelligent cars, automobile, and some electronic industries 
and some software industries, metaverse industries as well. It's the cutting edge industries now. Uh, we follow the age and follow the nation's course. We provide uh, some platforms like uh, Huawei Software Development Center platform and some just you can see the Thundersoft and are the training part provide the talents for the companies. So it's an ecosystem. The ecosystem is not just an environment, just like the audience see uh, through our camera, but the ecosystem of the industry. Is there any international companies in this park that you know of? The companies are most all Chinese. Soundersoft is corporate with Qualcomm. Recent years, Chinese uh, innovation internet companies are developing very fast. And we have so many uh, independent technologies. So we encourage more smart and small companies to start here. Uh, we have incubations and the platforms to support there to develop more technologies and uh, laboratories. China is leading in innovation. Now you might not hear the, the names that you hear back home, like the Teslas or you know, Microsoft or Google, but there are big companies here, monster companies here, Baidu, big companies that are all throughout China investing in this technology. Uh, big data is a big thing here. Anyway, I want to thank Michaela Ponte for joining this program, giving us thank his you, insights uh, from uh, Africa. Thank you for being part of the stream. Bye.